Hey everybody, this is Rich Brooks, and as you may know, I'm a fan of Paperly, that online service that creates virtual papers based on the people you follow on Twitter as well as some other services as well. And so I was very excited when they came out and announced that they had a new pro service for people who wanted a little bit more control over their Paperly paper. So if you are looking to brand your own paper or have more control over the content that goes into it, or even looking to sell ads on your paperly paper, then you definitely want to check out the new pro service. Here's what I found. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you're logged into your paperly account. Once you are logged in, you're going to want to choose a newspaper by clicking on newsstand in the top bar. Here I'm going to choose my agents of change daily. That takes me into the, to my paper and at the top of the page I click on the upgrade button. Now I'm sure you've all used your credit card on the internet, so I don't think we need to go through that, plus I don't want you to see my credit card information. So we'll just go ahead to configure your paper now. Once I've configured it, the first thing I'm going to tackle is the appearance. I can choose a banner to appear at the top of my page. I've already gotten one created, it's sitting on my desktop, so I'm going to select that image now. Once I've chosen the image, I can then link this banner to wherever I want. In this case, the Agents of Change homepage. I can also choose an image for the background as well. I've already got that image ready to go, so I choose it, click open, and now I've got my background image. I can, use to, I can choose to tile this image, to align it left, center, or right, and to choose a background color. Once saved, the next thing I want to do is I want to play around with my ad units. I want to sell my own ads. I have four places that I can place my ads. I'm going to show you right now how to do one. Again, I'm just choosing an image that I've already created from my desktop. You can see it up here there. I can link it anywhere I want. I'm going to link it here. As I mentioned, there's four places to place ads. Just because I was trying to get this video going as quickly as possible. I'm using the same image over and over again, linking it to the same page, but obviously you can change that um, for your own needs. And then I go ahead and I view the paper to see if my ad showed up. And as you can see, the ads did appear within the paper. You can't currently do Google AdWords because they don't allow JavaScript for security reasons, but you can run almost any other type of ads that don't use JavaScript. The last thing you might want is more control over the actual articles that appear in your in your newspaper, in your paperly. So what you want to do is click on settings, go to promotion, make sure that your review is on and then save it. I can't tell you how many times I screwed this up while making this movie. So go ahead and save that and now the, the paper won't automatically go out via email or tweeting unless you say you want it. Once once I pause it, I can go in there and I can change an article, make it a featured article, as I just did with Chris Brogan's article here. I replaced the default one with Chris's article. I can scroll down the page, maybe find an article that I don't want to include for whatever reason, delete that article, make any other changes I want, scroll back up to the top and click on settings. Then I'll choo choose back, uh, click back to promotion, and now I send my notifications. Now the tweet will go out, now the email will go out to all my subscribers. So as you can see, I've upgraded one of my papers already, and I'm looking forward to upgrading a few more. If you are looking for more control over your own paper, your own branding, and even selling your own ads, you definitely should give uh, Paperly Pro a look. This has been Rich Brooks. Thanks.